Hello, welcome to how to solve this very nice equation. Square root of x plus square root of 5 is equal to square root of x plus 35. We need to find value of x. First of all, we take square of both sides of this equation. Square root of x plus square root of 5. We take square at the left side is equal to square root of x plus 35 and we take square at the right side. Now according to this algebraic identity a plus b whole squared is equal to a squared plus b squared plus 2ab. We can write this square root of x plus square root of 5 whole squared as square root of x squared plus square root of 5 squared plus 2 times square root of x times square root of 5 is equal to this square will be cancelled with this square root and at right side left x plus 35. Now this square will be cancelled with this square root this square will be cancelled with this square root and here left x plus 5 plus 2 times square root of 5 times square root of x is equal to x plus 35. Now we move with this x to the left side and this 5 to the right side. Then this equation becomes x this plus x becomes negative x at left side plus 2 times square root of 5 times square root of x is equal to 35 and this plus 5 becomes negative 5 at right side. Now this positive x will be cancelled with this negative x and at left side left 2 times square root of 5 times square root of x is equal to 35 minus 5 30. Now from here we divide both sides of this equation by 2 times square root of 5. At right side we divide by 2 times square root of 5. And this 2 times square root of 5 will be cancelled with this 2 times square root of 5. And at left side left square root of x is equal to from here 2 1 time and 2 15 times 30. So at right side left 15 divided by square root of 5. Next square root of x is equal to we can write this 15 as we can write this 15 as 3 times 5 like this 3 times 5 divided by square root of 5 next square root of x is equal to 3 times no we can write this 5 as we can write this 5 as square root of 5 times square root of 5. We write this 5 as square root of 5 times square root of 5 divided by square root of 5. Next square root of x is equal to this square root of 5 will be cancelled with this square root of 5 and at right side left 3 times square root of 5. Now from here we take square of both sides of this equation. So this square will be cancelled with this square root and at left side left x is equal to according to this property of exponents a times b whole to the power n is equal to a to the power n 
times b to the power n this power 2 will become the power of this 3 and will become the power of this square root of 5 like this 3 squared times square root of 5 squared next x is equal to 3 squared is 9 times this square will be cancelled with this square root and here left 5 and x is equal to 9 times 5 45 this is the value of x this is the final answer of this equation now let's verify this value of x by putting this value in the original equation the original equation is square root of x plus square root of 5 is equal to square root of x plus 35 in this equation we put the value of x 45 so value of x is square root of 45 plus square root of 5 is equal to square root of value of x is 45 plus this 35 35 now we can write this 45 as square root of 9 times 5 plus square root of 5 is equal to square root of 45 plus 35 80 now according to this property square root of a times b is equal to square root of a times square root of b we can write this square root of 9 times 5 as square root of 9 times square root of 5 plus this square root of 5 is equal to we can write this square root of 80 as square root of 16 times 5 next square root of 9 is 3 times square root of 5 plus square root of 5 is equal to according to this property square root of a times b is equal to square root of a times square root of b we can write this square root of 16 times 5 as square root of 16 times square root of 5 now from here we can factor out square root of 5 square root of 5 as a common factor and in bracket left 3 plus 1 is equal to square root of 16 is 4 times square root of 5 next 3 plus 1 is 4 times square root of 5 is equal to 4 times square root of 5 you can see that the left hand side is equal to the right hand side so it is proved that the value of x Forty-five is correct.